Welcome back to Mastering the AI channel. I am happy that you are here. We will start by exploring image to image option in Leonardo AI and its applications, and then examine the impact of initial strength parameter. Next, we will learn how to transfer the pose from a reference image to a new image. After that, we will also explore the edge to image and depth to image with an example and learn how they differ from each other. We start by creating an image from image. Let's select a model. I choose DreamShaper V5 and No Style. But you can pick whatever you prefer. Please note that we are working under Image Generation category. We choose the Image to Image option and upload an image that will be our reference image. Please note that the image size should be the same for both the reference image and new image. I have this one of a girl here as you can see. It will create a new image based on this one. For the prompt, I will type as per image. I'm keeping the initial strength at 0.9 so the new image will be similar to the reference image. After setting all the parameter, I will hit generate. Image generation takes a few seconds. And look at that. Both images are pretty close, the faces, the styles, the poses all match well. This technique helps creating consistent characters across different scenes. Next, we will modify the initial strength and observe its impact on image to image. We will set the value of the initial strength parameter to 0.5 and keep the rest of the settings unchanged to see the sole effect of this parameter. Then we regenerate the image and compare it with the previous one. The new image differs from the provided image. Their facial features, hairstyle, and shoes do not match. Moreover, lowering the initial strength value will produce an image different from the provided one. In this section, we will learn how to change the pose of an image using a reference. I have imported an image of a boxer as an example. We will keep the same settings for this demonstration. We go to Control Net and choose Pose to Image option. Control Weight and Guidance Scale are two important parameters that you can adjust according to your needs. Let us give a prompt for a 20 years old woman as shown. Then, we click Generate to create the image and see what we get with these settings and if the pose to image is helpful. The new image is of a young woman as we prompted, but her pose matches the reference image as you can see. Her arms are up like the boxer. Her head is also tilted slightly to the right arm like the boxer. The pose is transferred very well. Pose to image can be very useful in many applications. Before we continue the rest of the video, please take a moment to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel. In this section, we will learn about edge to image and see how it works. To demonstrate this feature, we load a simple text image that display a word rodeo. We give a prompt for a brick wall. From Control Net, we select the option of Edge to Image and generate the image. If we look at both images, we can see that Edge to Image emphasizes the boundary of the reference image as shown by the outline of the text. In this image, the rodeo letters are prominent and the brick wall is in the background. Now let us compare Edge to Image with Depth to Image. We switch from Edge to Image to Depth to Image and regenerate it. The image is generated as shown on this page. If we examine this image with the reference image, we can notice that depth to image gives a 3D effect to a 2D image. The text appears to have depth and dimension. Therefore, we should use edge to image when we want the outline of the reference image to stand out and depth to image when we want a 3D effect of a 2D image. If you find this video useful, please hit like button. Thanks for watching.